So last night, Feminette's demo had released. And about five or six hours after that, we got drip marketing. Now, we didn't get drip marketing for a new character. We got it for a previous character. A bunch of them, actually. First things first, I want to say, if you have not played the Fontaine Archon Quest, please do not watch the rest of this video. And also, don't go to Genshin the Twitter because they kind of spoiled it for you as well. So I highly recommend you finish the Archon Quest if you haven't already. But if you haven't, do not watch this video and don't go to Genshin the Twitter. With that being said, out of the way, they posted this. Now, first things first, we're going to redo everything, by the way. But first things first, I want to mention the picture. So, obviously, you guys know when Lenny first came out, he had like a little like, you know, the, his tongue out and he was kind of like, you know, he was happy. He was cheerful. And his card had a picture of his little face on it. The picture is now a picture of the Fatui and he's no longer smiling. So, if you played the Archon Quest, you would know that it was revealed that Lenny, Lynette, I believe him as well, are all a part of the Fatui. Now, not exactly like Fatui Harbingers, but they are part of the House of Hearth, which is Arlequino's orphanage. So that is the, you know, air quotes are part of the Fatui. So that was revealed. Lenny, it's kind of like jarring, but I wish they picked a different picture for it, by the way, like a, a different pose, but that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, he's not smiling. He has the Fatui card. Very obvious, right? Now, we're going to read through these in a minute, but I want to mention the other ones, too. Now, here's the other one. It says, quote, In the end, a child must grow up, and they must surpass their parents. Only thus may a family flourish. When that day comes, I look forward to hearing what family means to him. Arlequina. So she's the one saying that. Now, obviously, we already know Arlequino has a lot to do with these twins because, of course, she's the one that kind of brought them in. But that continues. So Lynette is also here. I didn't really catch too much that was different about Lynette's picture. So it turns out I did miss this, actually. You can see in the background the symbols. It's kind of like what I believe is like the Fatui kind of symbols in terms of like who the person is. So like the little beak right it'd be like uh like the rooster right uh postalina there's like a little butterfly you can see which would be like senora and the background background has like these two pillars lynette herself doesn't really change at all i don't think unless i missed something but the actual background has changed for lynette if you go to uh lenny's same thing you can see oh now nah, okay i can see that now the crying bird like the hand with the fire oh that's arlequino wow that's probably Sandrone right there. Hmm. Okay. And also the pillars in the background as well. Kind of representing the, like the, the area for Fatui. And then we have Feminine. Also. Oh yeah. And then the, the mask. Wow. Yeah. So you can tell the difference The the background's the main difference for the other two twins, but for Lynette or sorry, Lenny, it's pretty obvious with like the card and his face. So, that's the difference between the two pictures. But also this one mentioned that you needn't fret, nor should you feel like you have to change your own habits, but you should know that genuine understanding can only be found, not sought. A true comparison is someone who can read your signals. Once again, Arlequina. So that was Lynette and also Fremenet as well, which we haven't gotten to like see too much of him yet. So this is interesting. It says, you have two choices before you. You can either wallow in the past until you drown in its miseries, him being a diver, or you can join hands with your family and open your eyes again. Also, Arlequino. So Arlequino, you know, she's talking to all these individuals, you know, individually, because, you know, obviously everything is pertain pertaining to each character. So everything is the same as before, but here is the more detailed description for, for Lenny's section. It says, magic is a lie. Nothing but evasion, deception, and trickery. Even a single illusion requires a series of lies to pull off. To put on a whole magic show, you must win the audience's trust by weaving a seamless facade of ruses and ploys. Props, lighting, assistance, planning, 
The stage is set through the help of the countless aides, both on set and off. A magician's performance rests upon so much painstaking effort, yet is also weighed down by the burden of expectation. As such, a magician's design must be absolutely airtight and its execution without flaw. Even a single slip up could ruin everything. He must not let his family down, family, air quotes. The magician's lie must not be exposed. Well, that kind of got exposed. The first time Lenny stepped onto the stage, he had a mission on his mind as, uh, as he stood there behind the curtain, muttering father's words under his breath. Father is meant to be Arlequino. Lenny, said Lynette, as she squeezed her brother's palm unconsciously? Huh? The curtain slowly began to rise, marking the start of their performance. Lenny raised up Lynette's arm and gazed back at her with a determined look in his eyes. It'll be all right, because as always, Lynette's by my side. Hmm. Unconsciously? She's just like knocked out? Like, I don't know, she mean like, just like out of spite? I don't know. But that's interesting as well. Um, and it kind of plays into like the whole thing of, you know, him being a magician and putting on a show, as Alec, you know, said, your first and foremost actors, um, in the final feast trailer. And also in that trailer, he mentions how everything is a lie. Everything is fake. Nothing is real. So it's really playing into that. And it makes the next couple acts a lot more exciting, um, in terms of what it's going to be about. That was Lenny's description. Here's Lynette in a little team of three. At the hotel, I'm not even going to try it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lynette plays an essential role in making sure that their, their work runs smoothly. When, Lenny, when Lenny's bold nature clashes with Fabinette's cautiousness, instead of taking sides, Lynette stands back and analyzes the situation in a calm and collected manner. She revolves their disputes by helping them find a middle ground. She's generally very quiet and is in the habit of constantly observing the other members of her family, if Lenny accidentally cuts his finger in the middle of a performance, or if Reminette suddenly looks downcast, Lynette would make a mental note of it. When she has a suitable opportunity, she'd be there with a bandage or a cup of tea. She loves her family, and her family, so many air quotes, love her. Waking up by the fireplace, she's become accustomed to the familiar sight of Lenny at the table practicing card tricks and Reminette cleaning the living room. It was in such a moment that she suddenly realized how long it had been since the memory of those sleepless nights of fearful anticipation had vanished. Just like a lump of coal that had burned itself into oblivion. That's an odd comparison. But also we know that Lynette was apparently about to be like trafficked by someone. Um, like taken in, like just taken away from her home and her brother. Or her brother. Um, her, sorry, her family. And Arlequina was one to step in and save her from that and brought her into the House of Heart. So that's what, that's what it means when it says that, you know, it's been a while since she, she she realized how long it had been since she was like, or Alex, this might be before that actually happened. But anyways, they were not in a good situation before they joined the House of Hearth. So that's what that's kind of anticipating. But honestly, I said I was going to be really worried for these three when they first released. And it looks like they're in a better place, but it's still kind of, you know, eh. Here's Feminette. In his early years, Feminette always preferred to be alone. His unassuming appearance would make people drop their guard, which was something that the House of Hearth used to their advantage. Sending him in behind enemy lines to complete the missions, they assigned him swiftly and without mercy. Hmm. All I have to do is put on my helmet, shut out the background noise, and carry out my orders. Ferminette began to see himself as an unfeeling clockwork toy. Ooh, that's very ironic, actually. It was only later that the House of Hearth changed into something else entirely. Under Father's orders, Ferminette joined up with Lenny and Lynette to form their team of three at the hotel. At first, Ferminette often felt at a complete loss. It was almost as if they could read each other's minds. Such was the tacit understanding between the pair of siblings. Hmm. He felt like a spare part in a comparison, worthy only of lying around in some dark corner, accumulating dust. Feminette, pay attention. 
What does this look like to you? A card of a picture with pears on it? Are you sure? It's pears, all right. Here you go. Take them. All right. Your task this time is very tricky. I prepared an essential, crucial role for you and your little hero. Oh, the, the penguin. The plan is as follows. Feminine very rarely feels anything when he's carrying out his missions, but when they are celebrating their success, a smile comes onto his face after his first taste of one of the hotel's delicious desserts. Hmm. Here have mine too, said Lynette, as she filled his cup with tea. We're family. So I want to go back to the part where it says when he joined them. It was only later that the House of Hearts changed into something else entirely under Father's orders. He joined up with Lenny and Lynette to form their team of three at the hotel. Hmm. So yeah, family much, huh? Not really much family going on here at the end of the day. But yeah, very interesting. Just want to talk about this today because I was just like, it's weird, you know, to get like a reintroduction to the characters again. As if, you know, it's almost as if everybody's going to be like a lie, you know? I mean, these three specifically, yes. But, you know, other people, I don't really think so. Like Navia and whatnot, but... So far, we're really playing into this, you know, everything is a lie and everything is deceitful type of manner. So, you know, it just it just makes sense. And I'm very, very, very excited for the next Archon Quest. Now, I will say I'm excited for the new Archon Quest. But I hope we don't get any more cases. And I, I know it's Fontaine, the Land of Justice, but like we've already gotten two cases, the Lenny case and the Marcel case and kind of like a third case with Child. But really just two cases it's gonna get kind of stale if we keep on getting cases for all the archon quests you know what i mean so like i'm looking forward to like something different happening maybe arlequino shows up maybe like you know we get more into like the fatui aspect or, like we get to see like the house of hearth or you know something like that you know or like maybe something you know dramatic happens like the the um sinking starts to really come into play the prophecy happens like something where, you know, we're going different places, you know, because it was cool to be in the, uh, you know, Opera Epic class and watch. But, you know, I don't want to keep on doing that, though. I don't want the whole Archon, the whole five part Archon quest to just be sitting in the Opera Epic class all the whole time watching. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this. Um... And uh, if this actually was like a spoil to you, by the way, if you saw the, the Gitch Twitter prior to finishing the Archon Quest. But yeah, what do you guys think about this? What do you think the next Archon Quest is going to be like? And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see my reaction to the Archon Quest, I have the full Act 1 on YouTube and the full Act 2 on YouTube as well. And I also have like a compilation of all the cutscenes put together for my reaction as well. So if you want to see those, that's all there. Um, I enjoyed it, but looking forward to something a little bit different next time. But that'll be all for me. This was very interesting. And uh, we'll, we'll see what else what else pans out in the future. Hope you guys have a good one. And I will catch you guys in the next one.